Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this. It's like a hubcap inside of a tire. Uh, the, the easy part is going to be this part right here. The harder part is a little bit of this getting these arches perfect. But to do this, I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. But that picture is not going to be in the center of the page. You can see the X. So I'm going to bring in indexing lines that are in the center of the page. I'm going to hit P to make sure they are. And then what I need to do, I just need to move my item because if we don't do this you know we'll be messed up a little bit so i'm going to move my item more or less in the center of the page and then i am going to uh from the center of the page i'm going to hold down the shift and the control button and i'm going to get that outer part of that item of this part now this the second ellipse is pretty crucial because if you make it too big or too little, um, it'll make this part bigger or smaller. So hold down the shift and the control button and you can see I'm about there, but it needs to be lower. So we're actually going to hit P, put it in the center of the page and then move it up here, holding down the control button and see my drawing is a little bit off, you know, from perfect. But I'm going to work with this. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm hoping that this is pretty much in the center of the page, and it is. So now we can take this and control D and make a duplicate. Double click on the rotation and put it in the center. Always double check. We're going to rotate it 72 degrees. Control D. 144 degrees. Control D. Control D. Now you have that item. Now, the thing about it, if we hadn't have done that, we wouldn't be able to center this because this is not a centerable item because Corel's looking at it from different ways. So from now on out, nudge stuff out of the way. We're going to actually nudge this out of the way. I want to keep these in case I need them, and I actually do need one. So I'm going to nudge this back, and it's still in the center of the page. I am going to go in and left-click, right-click. I took away the fill. I am going to borrow one of these. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard because I need a crescent. But the crescent isn't exactly the size because it's it's around there. So we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold down the shift key. And then I'm going to control D to make a duplicate. And with my nudge factor, just remember 8.02 now. Just remember 8. I just want a little bit of a crescent. And you can see that this is going to go further than the other one. So I'm going to grab one of the rings and control shift to make it bigger. And now I can move that crescent. I just want a little bit of a crescent. That's pretty good right there. I'm going to hit P. You never know till you put it in there. I put P to put it in the center. Now I'm going to start moving and hold down the control button. That's a little big. So let's take this outer arch and nudge it down like twice. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Smart fill tool. We just want a little bit of a sliver. P. Start. I'm going to grab my pick tool. Start moving it and then hold down the control button. That's pretty good. I mean, you, if you're doing it for real, you could play around with that. Now control D and make a duplicate. Double click on it. Get the rotation and then rotate it that 72 degrees. Control D. Sometimes Corel keeps goes all the way around. Sometimes you have to double it. Now the other is real easy. We're going to take an ellipse. And we you could go back to your original drawing. And I'm pretty close and hit P. We need to make it something thicker than a hairline. And we need to make it black. Whoop. Right click black. Now what I also need to do is go, I'm going to hit F12 on my keyboard. And well, no, I don't even have to do that. I want to go to object and order. And in just a second, we're going to fill this in with white to get all that look. Well, we need to make these dots. I got a little ahead of myself. And that, you know, you'd want to measure. Now, one thing we do want to do, that's what I want to do with F12. We want to scale with the object. Because we don't want it to get any thicker when we move it. I'm going to hit P and put that in the center of the page. 
and then I'm going to move it up. Now what I want to do is fill it in with black, but take away the outline. Because if we don't do that, I think it's a little bit high, so I'm going to move it, or a little bit low, so I'm going to move it up a little bit. If we didn't do that, we would have to scale that with object, and the outline could, could mess us up. You know, I wish there was a way you could uh, center stuff easier with the rotation. 72 degrees, control D, 144 degrees, control D, control D. Now, what I was going to say, we need to basically fill this in with white. Uh, so I'm going to make a box first, and I'm going to fill it with yellow, and I'm going to go to order, back a page. We need to fill this in with white. Now, look what happens when I fill it in with white with my ellipse. See how my ellipse line got smaller? So I'm going to go there and fill that in, and now it basically disappeared. So I need to get my ellipse there and go to object order. Well, let me get rid of this for a second. Huh. Let me put that yellow box back. Maybe I need to just put these in the back of the page. See, I've made my ellipse bigger or thicker. Object, order, back of page. And then that, well, and then I need to take this and put it in the very back of the page. And now I've got the white. And realistically, you'd want to take away the outline on that item there. Now, then you take a whole ellipse and fill it in with black. And these ellipses, you would do, you know, this is just uh, your preference. You know, wh how are you going to make that look? You know, the outside is just rotate. If the, if the person that sent me this needs help on the rest of it, they'll holler at me. I'm pretty sure they were just wanting the center of the part. You know, we could draw draw an ellipse. And we if we start at the center and go control and the shift key, it'll be perfect. And then what you can do to make it safe is just take the Smart Fill tool, set on black, and fill that in with black, and there you go. I mean, that looks, let me take away the guidelines. That looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.